Good morning. Good morning. I'm Mary. I'm Linda. We're sisters in the kitchen. Thank you, boss. Yes. <laughs> um, this morning, we're um, we're going to be making uh, a cheesy potato and meat casserole. Sounds uh, good. The date on our members page is the wrong date. No, I fixed oh, you it. You fixed the dates? Okay. All right. <laughs> I goofed up and wrote the wrong dates on on the sunshine pie and the um, potato, cheesy potato. Um, anyway, so I've done some little prepping ahead of time. Let me turn my oven on. Um, I'm going to wash my hands. I'm okay. ready to do that. Right. Okay. Um, I've done a little prepping ahead of time because um, actually this casserole takes an hour, something, maybe a little longer, depends on how thick you do your potatoes. So I went ahead and I'll show you what I've done. If you want to shorten the cooking time, you know, I'm all about shortening <laughs> I'm all about getting something done. So you can do it the way I've done it, or you can put your potato slices in there raw. I um, slice my potatoes, and, um, uh, all right, well, I'll, I'll you need to pick up the skillet and show them, or, um, well, oh, that's, yeah, you can, it don't matter. I cook these potatoes, slice these potatoes in a little bit of uh, olive oil. Not till they're done, just barely, because that's softening them. You could, I mean, you could take a baked potato and slice it if you wanted yeah. to. If you want to, you know, cut down if you want to cut down on the time, I just barely cook uh, on each side a little bit. Where you can put a fork in it and it doesn't break apart, but it's, but it's, uh, you can tell that it's almost done. So that's what I've done with the potatoes ahead of time, so it won't take this casserole so long to, to uh, cook. Now I got potato. I mean, I got hamburger. Uh, in here, and I'm going to cook it, and I'm going to add some seasoning, and Linda is going to grate uh, some onions for me. I've already got most of them done. I'm going to go ahead and take them. Uh, well, I can't you take just them. want them kind of like the yeah. same size. Yeah. I'm going to take some of these onions and put it in with my meat. This is a whole onion color, Linda. I don't think I'm going to put all of it in there. Yeah, that's a lot. That's of a onion. lot of onion. It's only one, but um, that's too much onion for me. You can. So that's all is onion. It, is this just a white banana? That's onion? just a white onion, and um, we'll just take it aside, and I will um, bag it up later. You don't have to do it right now, Linda. I'll, I'll bag that later. And now she's going to grate some cheese. This is um, pepper jack cheese. And we've also, I've got, I've already grated um, the um, cheddar and some of the pepper jack. Now I'm going I'm to cut the burner on over here. And I'm putting uh, some salt and pepper. Okay. Let's see. I'm going to put some, a little bit of salt and pepper in this meat. My little salt and pepper shaker somebody gave me and screwed the All right, now I got my burner pile. I've already, I've started this a little bit ahead of time. I've got the meat chopped up using my mixing chop. And so I'm just going to cook this meat. And I use 96 full on the hamburger meat. But, um, and if there's any grease in this, I'm going to grain it off. I don't, it shouldn't be. But sometimes, Linda, have you ever gotten, have you ever gotten some meat that, um, that's 96 for that did have more oil in it? Or um, every once in a while, not real often. Most of the time, it's it's uh, pretty much, uh, um, here, I'm doing this like you told me to. Okay. It doesn't seem like it's fitting down in there. Okay. Maybe I don't have the cheese right. right. That's okay. okay. I'll, I'll get it. Okay. I'll get it down there somewhere. Okay. All right. This is, uh, let me see if it, uh, if y'all using these, these little things right here, they, I thought I had it. Well, it is a little hard. It is a little hard. Okay. You can you, you can do it however you want to, Linda. I think you I think you got it down there. Yeah, further it has, than it I has did. to be down there far enough for that for that little cut to uh, yeah. to put pressure on it. Yeah, that's much better. So, Thanks, Mary. Oh, you're welcome. Here, you may want to dump some of that out. Have you got enough room? That's a, 
This was a block of cheese. Okay, thank you. And I used my cutter. We like to grate our own cheese. Um, it's just, to me, it tastes a lot better. And um, little Linda was saying this morning about um, the potato starch. Linda, do you want to tell them? So the grated cheese that you buy in the store that's pre-grated has potato starch on it to keep it from sticking. And I prefer to grade my own cheese so that it doesn't have that potato starch on there. It melts better too, Linda. It melts better, better for you if you use the block and shred. You grate, you grate your own. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm cooking this meat. You're not browning the meat. You're actually just uh, getting the pink out of it because it's gonna cook in the oven for 30 minutes. down a little bit. And now I'll tell you, I sliced my potatoes and I cook these in olive oil. Just like I said, for a few minutes. You use a 9 by 13 inch pan. These I've already cooked. And um, you spray your pan. If you're not using one of these kind of pans, you spray it. But I didn't spray this because these kind of pans, um, this is our uh, in, um, cast iron. This is enamel, right? This is uh, a uh, it is, stone. Um, yeah, it's stone. a stone semi-glazed. And you don't want to spray cooking oil on it because it has a sticky, um, um, it just causes it to be sticky. So this is olive oil that, that uh, on these potatoes. So that is, I figured that would be enough of, of oil instead of, uh, and I later, I put one layer on the bottom. Oh, sorry. It's okay. If you're using raw potatoes, just put your layer, and when the meat mixture gets done, we'll put a layer of meat on it. And um, and then uh, we'll we'll do this, Linda. Okay. So tell me what to do. Uh, uh, if you this, want me to do this, yes, you can. Uh, you want this in the bowl? Yes. Chick cream of chicken soup. Put that in the bowl. The whole can of canned milk, and then I'll get some 2%. I have 2% milk. Do you rinse your cans out, Mary? Well, sometimes I do, but I don't on this. On this, okay. Because this doesn't call for any water. And I'm using 2%. You can use 2% milk or whole milk, whatever you want. But I have 2%, so that's what we're going to use. So, the whole can of milk, the two cans of thing, and then... Uh, this on the, uh, okay. and this is three onion mix. You, If you've got onion powder, that's really what the recipe calls for. But I, I want to use this. So um, use this um, teaspoon of that, you know, please. So do you want the whole, um, whole can of milk in here? Yes, please. Okay. Yes. And this meat here is done. So I'm turning this off. Right. Yes. Okay. Uh, well, let's see what was she talking? Which one she talking? Spices. Uh, yeah. Um, the garlic. Use a whole spoon. And yeah. the onion. Three right. onions. Use that one. And then this is the milk. Canned milk. And let me get your whisk. Instead of draining this, I'm just using this slotted spoon. Just done. And I'm just putting the potatoes. And I'm just, like I said, I'm third in this because it's, you're going to have about three layers. Okay. 
Now we'll put some cheese on that. I have cheddar cheese and I have pe and pepper jack here. So I'm just gonna mix it. I drop some. I'm gonna set that aside and put some cheddar in this. It takes a lot. This is a that's why it's called cheesy. It's a lot of cheese in here. Yeah, Mary, where does this milk over here go? Does it go in here too? Yes, this all that. Milk? Yes, I the mean, whole milk it, and the canned milk, all that goes in there. I think it's not almost two percent, but it's the milk, right? Yes. Okay. And now I'll I'll layer the potatoes. Put another layer of potatoes on here. It's warm this morning, isn't it? It is. It was, it's warm in your house. <laughs> I should have the AC it's, on. Um, it's okay. No. Uh, it was six, it was 72 when I got up, 67 when I left the house, and it was 59 when I turned on your road. Is that right? So it's dropped several degrees. Yeah. It's supposed to turn cold. That wind was blowing yeah. so hard. And it was blowing. You know, you always can tell when the wind starts to shift. Right. Are you doing this one cup measure? I am. Um, and when I was when I was uh, driving due south, it was it was um, the wind was kind of blowing. What well, was coming from the west? You know, yeah. it always comes from the west, or, or as a rule. But yeah. then when I turned on eight fifty, or not the eight fifty, but twenty two seventy six, the wind was just cross. It was blowing like it was oh, really? blowing across me, oh. like crosswinds. Like you drive yeah. across Kansas, you've oh. driven across oh, Kansas, Lord. haven't you? Yes. Yes. And across those plains, yes. those, those winds that just swept your car when and you're driving across there. And it's, um, you go for so long miles without anything, without being that is the, That's probably one of the it, longest it drives is. I've it ever is. done, is drive all the way across Kansas. It is. I've done it. I've done it several well, times, and it's very, very long. Me too. Okay. All righty. Uh, now put some more cheese on it. Now, do you want this liquid? That's very last. Or oh, you pour yeah. it in last. Okay. Yep. Here, that's this is gonna be a lot. It's a big. It? Yeah. If if you're doing, you know, you probably want to half this. When I made it, the last time I made it, I did half it. Did I you? made half okay. as much. Yeah, I did. That's a big dish. This would be. You'd have leftovers. Oh yes. Yeah. Oh yeah. This is a big dish. Depending on your family, what size your family is. Okay, all right, one more layer. Let me get my fork. These potatoes, uh, I tell you what I've done, they're brown, they don't necessarily, I wasn't trying to get them brown, uh, but I turned the burner on and walked out of the kitchen and Linda and Carl, uh, Linda and Linda, little Linda was in here and she said, am I supposed to be watching these potatoes? <laughs> I didn't tell them to watch them. Um, well, it was off when I came in. Yeah, well, I turned it on and walked out. That's what I'm bad about. <laughs> so, you don't, you're not really supposed to brown the potatoes, but that's okay. Uh, didn't hurt them, but just... So, um, you know how I am, Mary. I get what so, uh, I think people, uh, one of my, one of our viewers uh, texted me last night, you know who you are, and she, she said, because I say antsy a lot, yeah. you know, like I get, um, what, how would you describe antsy? I want to speed Jittery. things up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I want to speed things yeah. up. Little ants work real fast, you know, <laughs> and so we say antsy. Um, but anyway, um, I started thinking about Bob's book, and yeah. I don't like to torment people, but I decided I would just send a quick status message to our publisher. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't hear back from them for a little bit, and then and then, I, then the email popped up, and they said it's at press, and uh, we're hoping. I'm, I'm not going to say the date, but yeah. we're hoping that we're going to get them maybe a little earlier than what we thought. So no, wouldn't that be nice? I'm super excited about it, and we got our first shipment of envelopes in that uh, we're going to ship them in. And I didn't bring any with me, but they are they are really pretty pink, and that's what we're going to ship our books. Yeah, in. I'm excited about that. Me too. Okay. Okay. And that's I didn't I didn't want that in there. So. Okay. That, it did that hamburger did have a ground meat did have some. It did have a little bit. Did you get meat. that at Walmart? Yeah, I did. Or Kroger. No, I got it at Walmart. Okay. 
Okay. Um, I'm not going to, I think, I'm supposed to save most of this cheese. So I'm just going to put a little bit on there. You have to, you have to save some cheese to go on there after it's done. So, all right. Do you want the bowl scraper or do you want a spatula? Uh, I, I scrap. Yeah, that'd be fine. Thank you. Now, this is what Linda just mixed up. The creamy chicken soup. You put the salt and pepper and the garlic powders and all that in there. Uh, and the milk. So, I'm going to pour this over here. Aluminum foil, Linda. I forgot to get the aluminum okay. foil out. This I think is on the bottom shelf. You want the heavy duty? Yes, please. Okay. Whoa. Okay. 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 You want it to fold over or just barely fold over the top? I just, just like cover it. Okay. Okay. And Can this is full. Uh, a little bit more than that. This is full, but it goes down when it cooks. Is this okay? Yeah, yeah. That's okay. Thank you. And we save that other cheese to actually, when you take it out of the oven, as it cooks for 30 minutes, you take it out of the oven and add the cheese un and, and uncovered. All right. Do you, the you need us to look at it? Can't keep down. Right here. <laughs> no, I don't like to be where I can't do anything. I'll just wipe this stove off and then we'll sit down and see if anybody has any questions. And did you set the timer? I did not. Okay, 30 oh. minutes. We're going to cook it 30 minutes. Now, if you want to put your potatoes in there raw, uh, you're going to have to cook this for an hour. As a matter of fact, I cooked it for an hour and 15 minutes the other day because... Um, the potatoes, they weren't raw, but they, they just liked a little bit more being done. So, uh, that's what to, you need to do. Is uh, I, speed, I, I wanted to speed it up because I wanted y'all to be able to see the finished product without uh, having to just take a picture of it. All right, Linda, we're through. Let me, let's see, I guess that, I was going to put that, um, Cover it with the cheese. I don't want the cheese oh, to dry. Oh, I'm sorry, Mom. Well, I didn't put that in the dishwater. Let's see that. Okay. Put this and I'll put it back in the refrigerator. All right. Okay, so how long did that take to get it in the oven? 20, about 22 minutes. And, and about you can do it faster than that. That's yeah. because we were, you know, we were talking. Was explaining yeah. and talking. Yeah, it takes at least, to do it the way I did it, it probably take an hour at least. Okay. From start to finish. But anyway, okay. I'll put this right to my table. That, that uh, clip on the back of it. Maybe I didn't. Uh, oh, the camera. Uh, do you want it? I'll see if I'm going to straighten this thing out because I don't think that's scratching my table. Um. Uh, Linda Joyce Oates. She sent us Linda, both of us. Yeah, we have an aunt, Linda Joyce. Yeah, that's what I told her. I said, "Oh, I, I won't forget you because my aunt's name Linda Joyce." Yes. Uh, she gave us a woman of God wonderfully made a, a, devotional. Book, a devotional book, and it has like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and it's nice. It's nice, and it's short. Each day is short, so it don't take uh, that long. And, our, and our, oh, a little card. I don't know if she made this card. It is so it cute. It is. With a nice little heart. note. And I'll show you. She sent us a little heart. She sent both of us one. Yes. And we're just showing Mary's behind yeah. over there on the other end of the table. Thank you so much, Linda Joyce. A little heart with Isn't the magnet. Sweet? I put I it on my refrigerator. Oh, it's cute. So thank you, Linda. Well, I get cards all the time. And I'm trying to uh, think of what I'm going to do with my cards because I have so many. I'm not going to tell you what I'm thinking about doing until I do it because I, it's going to take a while for me to do it. So I'm going I'm to wait and hopefully I get my card. And the pen came with oh, it the too. pen came right? with it, yes. That's nice. It has it, um, Ephesians 2.10 oh, scripture on it. Oh, that is yes. so sweet. Okay. All okay, right. We have a question. 
Yes. Um, can you freeze this dish? Uh, yeah, you can freeze it after you, after you cook it. We got uh, crumb. I don't know what that is uh, on the table. Yes, you can freeze it. Um, you just have anything you freeze, you have to wrap. That's that's very easy if you bake it ahead of time and freeze it. And I believe these bakers you can freeze. Can you, you can bake the, these. Um, the pan that I cooked it in, the enamel um, baker's pan, um, you can freeze those too. So just Make wrap it, it up. Completely cold. Wrap it, wrap it, wrap it, wrap it, wrap it, and put it in the fridge. Now you have to, when you take it out of the freezer, if you cook, if you fix it in that pan, you have to let it thaw out. You can't just put it in the oven from the right. freezer. But because um, it breaks, right? So, um, it's like I said, it's it's a good dish. Chuck liked it. He yeah, liked I imagine it. he did. Yeah, he liked it. It's real good. He loved potatoes. It's a meal. You it's wouldn't a have whole to meal. Anything else Make a salad or something. Go with it. It's a complete meal. Oh, so it's rained here all morning. Yep, it has. I um, um, wasn't real sure what it was going to do this morning, and um, I sat there and waited for a few minutes, and I just decided I'd come on. And I went through three or four pretty heavy, heavy rains. I wasn't sure that you would be able to come because um, because of the storm and all, but I think it's all blowed over. I, I don't think really, it's getting I close it's, to being. Yeah, I, think it's all I knew it was going to be fast moving, but um, and with our roads around here, and I don't know if they're, they're that way everywhere or not, but the ruts, because uh, the roads have ruts in them, and, and I'm not talking about dirt roads. I'm talking about paved roads, our roads, any any of the highways, even even yeah, I-20, and what, it holds water. It holds water. And yes. it's easy to hydroplane if, mm -hmm. you, if you hit. But I was very careful. You know, coming coming down that hill by the new bridge? Yes. The, yes. the, yes. the rain was just blowing in sheets across well, the bridge. You know, used to, before they fixed that new highway through there, the water was completely yeah, over the you couldn't the pass. No. You had to turn around or wait till the water receded. Little Linda, how long has it been since you hydroplaned on I-20? Uh, 2018. 2018. She hydroplaned. Oh, she called me. She said, Mother, first of all, I'm tell you, I'm okay. But I'm on my way to the hospital. And uh, she said, I hydroplaned on I-20. And oh, goodness. It messed your car up pretty bad, didn't it? Uh, but at least she was safe. But it's, the I-20 is a bad road. It is. It, I mean, it has bad ruts in the... 70, uh, 79 going down, um, is it 79 going down through Carthage? Coming from Shreveport where it cuts off and goes mm -hmm. to Carthage. Mm -hmm. Mike hydroplaned on that several years ago when he was yeah. working in, in the pickup. And he went across all four lanes. Oh and God. not a car coming in either direction. Crossing four lanes of highway. And hit a ditch and, and uh, ended up about probably not a foot from a big tree. Well, Linda, uh, she said there was car, and I 20 is busy, busy, busy all the time. Only God kept her, another vehicle from hitting yeah. her. The trucker said that he actually got in the middle lane, so nobody, so could, nobody, nobody could, could hit me while hit I was ping ponging. And um, I found out later, people behind me was wrecking, trying to miss me. Thank oh, God nobody hit yes. me, but I feel bad that they oh, were wrecking. Yeah. That was that was yeah. uh, that was a miracle. It was because I twenty is a I've I've probably driven on probably ninety percent of the interstates in the United States. You probably have too. I've traveled a lot of them. North and south and east and west. You've actually traveled more than I have because you was on the road longer than me. But I have been on a lot of them. And there's not too many more that's busier than I twenty. Maybe ninety five yeah. going through uh, Pennsylvania and into New York. Maybe yeah. ninety five. But uh, in 75, is it 75 that goes through Florida? I think it's 75 that goes through Florida. I can't remember. Uh, that's a really busy there. road. Yeah. But uh, I-20 is extremely busy. Don't let it fool you because it's going across Texas. Yeah. It is a very busy uh, interstate. It is. Linda, do we have any other questions? Uh, yes. Um, what kind of shoe? Everyone's commenting on your shoes, Mary oh. Lorraine. <laughs> I just bought them. I bought them at, what you call that place? Famous, Famous Footwear. Famous Footwear. I was in there trying to find me some church shoes. I, it's so hard to, for my feet because um, I have a hammer toe, and I know I can get it fixed, but I haven't. And I went to, um, I've been to Dillard's, and every one of the shoes that I try on at Dillard's, my hammer toe hurts my foot. Mm -hmm. So I went to Famous Footwear, and they had these shoes at Famous Footwear, and they was on clearance. So I thought those house shoes. <laughs> I, 
I came home, I told Linda, I said, I just bought me some winter house shoes. She said, Mama, those are not house shoes. That's just the winter <laughs> shoes. I said, well, okay, then I'll just wear them. They're really comfortable, really they comfortable. comfortable. But I got the famous good way on clearance. So. Okay, they want to know um, how tall y'all are. Well, you know what? I've always been 5'1". But they say you shrink in your in your uh, senior years. I haven't measured me. I I was five one all my life. How tall are you? I've been five feet all my life, and like Mary said, I doubt that I'm five yeah, feet. Yeah, I don't man, and I'm probably just five. And Mama five. was what five six? Mama was or Mama was five, short. Seven. Mama was short like pinky. Yeah, mom. we're short. We took pinky after mom. pinky mom. Yeah, pinky, pinky mom, mom was short. But Molly was. Very yeah. tall. She yeah, was mom. close to six yeah. foot tall. Yeah, mom was tall. Um, she was a built, built big. Uh, Pinky mom and Pinky mom both were were smaller uh, statues. Yeah, statue people. And Daddy was tall. He yeah, wasn't. Not, he, Daddy yeah. was not short. Yeah. But um, but we we took after Pinky mom, so we yeah. are. <laughs> yeah. So um. Anyway, any other questions? Okay. Um, so um, we we are going to go after we get through here today. Love Home Goods, right? Yes. Yep. And they just today is their grand opening at the Longview Mall, and they're going to be down there. I think where Sears was down at that. Yes. 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 And I think it's a pretty big store. I think they said they enlarged it. So oh, I don't know. Sears. Oh wow. Um, so I'm excited. We're going there when we get through right. here. And, um, of course, I, I, I was at the mall the other day, and um, I didn't go. Well, I did. I went to uh, um, bad, bad body works. Is that what it's called? <laughs> I, get, I get the bad, bad body, body works, works and 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 bad and bad bath and beyond. Y'all mixed up. I have to be corrected you know, every time I say it. But anyway, I was in there, and um, that's the only place I went in the mall. But I did notice that Home Goods, it had all the lights on. I didn't know if they were open. I thought they were. But then Linda told me that the grand opening is today. So they were going. Open. They weren't. I, open. The day I went, my, I've been having trouble with my feet. And, and, you know, I have trouble with my back a lot. I'm standing too much. But um, my feet were hurting so bad. And I went in Dillard's to see if they had any spring things out. Mm -hmm. And so I asked the security guard, because it's all the way down to the end. I didn't want to walk down there if they wasn't open. I said, is Home Goods open? She said, no, they opened the 17th. And so I thanked her because my feet thanked her, so I didn't have to walk, yeah. <laughs> walk back. And Linda got about me some clothes. When she goes to Dillard's, she she buy them for me. When I go, I buy them for her. Yeah. And she found me some pretty, I just love those skirts. Yeah. And, and, um, we have clothes. to buy them at the same yeah. time because... The way it normally is with Dillard's, now they do get more in now of my size, but as a rule, they have one in my size and petite. And yeah. if it's gone, that's it. I know. I know. And you can order it, but that's not the point when you go to buy clothes, you want to have them. Yeah. So um, I got, we got two outfits, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Two outfits. Mm -hmm. And uh, not cooking outfits, dress outfits. For church, for ladies' conference. And, um, and then we ordered some online. Yeah. Uh, bon Meyer, is that what? Bon Meyer, yeah, yeah. Bon Meyer. I've always loved Bon Meyer. Um, I remember the first time that I went in a Bon Meyer. You've been in them, right? I don't know if I have, Linda. I don't. If I did, it was with you, because I, but I don't remember. I don't. You haven't been in one with me. Well, I haven't been in um, one then. I thought it was all internet. You've always bought from them, yeah. But I haven't. I don't do good at ordering stuff on the internet. I got gypped twice during Christmas. Ordered off the internet, and little Linda told me, "Mother, don't order off of sites you don't know about. Go through, Amazon. Go through Amazon." But I ordered twice, and I still hadn't got it. I've emailed them and everything. I didn't get it. I just lost yeah. my money. It's you hate to you hate for something like that to happen. So I don't order on the internet. I let little Linda or my sister. If I want something, I say get me one too. I don't order off no more. Well, we were working in Polaris, which is um, a burb of uh, Columbus, and um, we were staying at the hotel, and right across the highway, there was a big mall, and the first time I went in there, y'all know how I am about music, they had live piano playing, and I just, I could have just stood in there all day and listened to them play the piano, because yeah. it was so beautiful and so yeah. peaceful, it was right there, a big baby grand right there by the escalator, 
And so I I started when I traveled. I bought for the kids, for the I little know, kids. I, I would constantly buy something, yeah. and I was real impressed with them because they ship free, they gift wrap free, and and if it didn't fit, you could return it free. Yeah. I know you've always liked Von Mar. And I stay with certain brands, and, and I don't mind to order them because I know they fit me. Mm -hmm. If it's a brand that I don't know, I usually have to try it on. Yeah. Yeah. Question? Um, a lot of people are asking what y'all do for Easter dinner. For Easter dinner? Easter dinner. I cook a big Easter dinner. Y'all have dinner at the church. We don't usually you? have dinner at the church. If they don't... It, we always have, but because of COVID, we didn't last year. Um, one year for Easter, I fixed a family that had COVID. I fixed a whole family, a whole ham dressing, the complete meal, and carried it to them. Um, I met them in a parking lot. <laughs> Linda, little Linda says, why? Because they had COVID. The, the husband didn't, yeah. but this is something she did on the slide. Yeah. <laughs> But anyway, I just met him and in a parking lot, at a, at a matter of fact, it was a dollar store, and I cared, you know, had it all in to-go containers and, and gave it to him. But we always fix a big meal. Well, um, I don't know about this year if we're going to car. I don't know what we're going to do this year. I really hadn't thought about it, but we always have a, used to, we would go to Carla's. Because mm -hmm. all the little kids was little, yeah. and I like to see them hide Easter eggs. We'd go to church. Yeah, I've, I've been there. I, in fact, I went one year when yeah, I was traveling yeah. and went to service with Carla and her family. And uh, we, uh, because we just love to watch the kids hide Easter eggs. We at Carla's church. We would go to church with her. She goes to Brother Holly's church in Wichita Falls, and uh, we would go and. Um, and we got lots of pictures, lots yeah. of pictures of when the kids were little it's, and it all this stuff. Like, it seems odd for them to I be know. bigger now because they were, they were so tiny. And Nathan and, and Braden used to. I just, they're so grown now. They don't even like to wear a suit. But used to, Linda had those kids dressed in a I suit. Know, they were so cute. Every, well, they went to church in a suit if it wasn't Sunday. But uh, it wasn't Easter. But on Easter's, it was so much fun watching those kids. But they're all grown now, you know, and things changes, and they always got plans. But this year, I don't know, Linda, reckon we could get the boys to <laughs> go with us somewhere for Easter. I don't know. I, don't, I think they're at their dad's. But oh, I'm they're sure. going to be at their dad's on Easter. Now, at Easter, when we were kids, of course, Mama always fixed a big Sunday dinner, yes. and dinner being the middle meal, the meal in the middle of the day, that's what I still call dinner. Yeah. I call the yeah. afternoon yeah. meal, yeah. evening meal, yeah. supper. Right. But Mama always fixed a big dinner. She always had ham dressing, ham dumplings, and uh, she would fix like banana pudding, coconut cake, all kinds of vegetables, and of course hot bread. And we would go to church, and then we would come home and eat, and then we all walked to Griffin Park on North Street. This was when SFA was not a university. It was still a college. And most of the buildings that are there today weren't, uh, right. weren't there then. Been. It was right. a big park, big, tall pine trees. We had birthday parties there. Yeah. We would walk there. Yeah. Heidi Street. Yes. And then we would have a, the afternoon. Um, and it was, it was a lot of fun memories from that. Yeah. Um, I don't know, we're probably, if the church don't ha get together, um, I don't, I don't know. I have, I have all kind of ideas. I just, I like to see other people celebrate. I like to be with people yeah. on special occasions. So if the church doesn't, which they probably will, but if they don't, we might just gather up some people and come to the house and have a Thanksgiving dinner. I mean, a, and a, we're going to have Mississippi in April too, and I don't know if it's oh, around. Oh, right. Um, Linda's got a question for us. They just said, what is your favorite Easter dish? Favorite Easter dish? You know, Easter dish is almost like Christmas. I mean, you know, we basically cook the same thing. We make, we have de always have deviled eggs. Mama always, yeah. we always had so many deviled eggs. Uh, deviled eggs, coconut cake, pineapple. What's your favorite? I would have to say Mama's ham dumplings. Oh, I yeah. love Mama's oh, ham yeah. dumplings. Yeah. Because it just brings back so many yeah. memories. It does. And um, uh, the broccoli, cauliflower, uh, cauliflower salad, I like that. Springy stuff. Um, I'll probably have one of them lemon pies this year. <laughs> I 
I had never made one. Uh, well, I've, I've made two of them uh, that I made on camera the other day. I, just a regular pot, lemon pie. I've made lots of times, but not with the, the cream cheese. Did you get? Did you carry those to? I sister uh, sister Danita. <laughs> <laughs> Bless her heart. I called her that same day after we videoed and and uh, told her that it was going to be the yes uh, uh, yesterday before I could get her pie to her because um, I, time I got the kitchen cleaned up and all other things that I had to do, it was, a pretty, uh, long day. It was a pretty long day and I was getting tired. So I did take it to her yesterday, but she said when I called her, she said, "Where's my pie?" <laughs> I said, Sister Danita, can I wait till in the morning to tomorrow to bring it to you? She said, of course. So, anyway, I um, I did take Sister Danita some pie. We have another question. What are ham dumplings? Uh, well, Mama, would, it's regular dumplings. She mm -hmm. made the old-timey kind, you know, that you roll oh, out. Mm -hmm. And when she cooked a ham, she cooked a big ham, mm -hmm. and she always made put ham in her dressing, and she put ham in her dumplings. Yes, you do. So instead of chicken and dumplings, it has ham in it, ham, ham and dumplings. Right. And they are so good. They are delicious. They are delicious. And she would use chicken broth, I'm assuming, for the... Uh, well, she'd boil a hen uh, to, to yeah, get her broth. Yeah. She didn't buy chicken broth. She'd yeah. make her. She'd yeah, boil a hen yeah. the old-fashioned way. Yeah. So, anyway, we're... Um, I just like get-togethers, whether it's Easter, yeah. Christmas... Whenever I just, just like to get the family together, because t nowadays uh, everybody is so in a hurry and and just go their own ways and stuff like that. And if you don't just specifically, uh, you know, say, "Look, we're having a big meal today, and we want you to come over," people just don't do that anymore. Like no, they, used no, to. they don't. They, they just don't. don't get together like that. And um, do you remember the same for kids from? Um, we were kids. The Larry Sanford. Sanford. I do um, remember. There was, boyfriend. there was one group that was, uh, that Larry and yeah. I think he had some brothers. Mm -hmm. And then there was uh, the other group that uh, was three girls, Katie and I can't remember her sister's names, but Katie and I went to school together. And um, back, oh, I don't know, two or three years ago, I got a friend request from her and uh, her last name was different. And of course, I knew I didn't, mm -hmm. she was from Nacogdoches, and so I sent her a message, and I said, are you Katie Sanford? And she said, yes, I am. And I said, your mother always cut off the crust. Uh, she brought her lunch to school. She was a real picky eater, and she, she, her mother would cut the crust off of her sandwiches. And you know what she said? She well, couldn't believe that I remembered that. Is that right? I don't remember. She said, I still do. Is that right? <laughs> she said, I still do. Oh, you know our ch our habits don't usually die. No, whatever we whatever we do in our childhood, we pretty well carry that through uh, all through life. Um, Have y'all watched any of the Double Jeopardy? I mean, of the Jeopardy with the college kids? <laughs> I have. I'm not smart enough for Jeopardy. <laughs> hey, I, every time you say something about Jeopardy, I think of Bobby. Bobby would like that. He he done just like you, Linda. He would answer those questions and and before they ever even said the answer, and I said, Bobby, how did you know that? Of course, Bobby read a yeah, lot. He did read. He a lot. read lots of books. But you're smart. Go ahead. Well, I, no, they, the questions last night were really hard. Um, I don't know if it was last night or the night before, but one of the final Jeopardy questions was uh, something about um, rain. Who? who was raining at a certain time. And a few days before then, one of the answers was Winston Churchill. And Mike said, Winston Churchill. And I said, no, Mike, rain is a monarchy. It's got to be a king. And so I said, uh, King George III. And that was it. Is that right? <laughs> well, I said, I can't remember. I even can't remember what I read. I forget what I read. And I don't know. Well, I don't remember nothing like I used to. And then one of the, they were, they're having two a night. And I think they're in the semifinals now. But uh, these are kids from Harvard and from Columbia, Brown, I, some of the I, Ivy League schools. And I remember you when you went to school. I know how I smart know, you but, are. But you I'm skipped not, the whole grade, and they didn't do that back I'm then not, um, because you are very I, I don't, smart. I don't... Um, I, it's kind of like use it or lose it, you know. When you're if you if you're <laughs> training yourself to remember, which I used to so much when I was a kid. But um, they were asking these questions. It would just happen to be stuff that I knew. Yeah. And one of the double ones last night was, um, 
uh, General uh, Robert E. Lee's wife owned this property in Virginia, whatever, whatever time it was. It's not, I don't remember the whole question. And I said, okay, that's my, it's got to be one or two places. And um, so I said, it's Arlington National Cemetery. And that was it. That was it. Yep. And I knew it wasn't Mount Vernon. And I, and Appomattox, it just, that just didn't seem right. So I said, uh, Arlington National Cemetery. And mm -hmm. I didn't know that. It's just, well, you've got your PhD, don't you? No, I don't have no PhD. What is it? I don't even know. I, <laughs> I, I knew you went back to college, but something after you was pretty up, up yeah, in years, yeah. you went back to college. But it was I got to talking to Christina okay. last night, a friend from Ireland, yeah, yeah. and oh, messaging and yeah. chatting back and forth. And she said, "She said you you ought to belong in men's." And I started most of my life, and I said, "No, no, I, I'm not even anywhere close to that. I just, you know." It, that was funny because, yeah. no, I'm not, um, um, I was bl always blessed with a very good memory and I would hear something or read something and I, I retained the information. And I studied for what I, my grades, I'll tell you for sure. I, I can never remember you studying for anything and I'd bring home a stack of books and you I were a homework. good student though. I, yeah, my GPA was 3.9. <laughs> I studied in the car on the way to school that morning. <laughs> I know, I know, but I'd study my head off, and, and I mean, I made good grades, but I had to work for it. Was it, um, you know, I've all, been always been about music, and um, so I took, for my electives, I always took choir, as long as I could, well, I, I took I, choir. Yeah, I took choir, too, several years. And um, I was in my I was in choir, yeah. Rosie Rose both was our choir director. Both of us was in that. And um, so I got to my junior year, and I had to take science. It was a ninth grade subject. Yeah. And y'all had already had, no, had you already had that subject? I, I I graduated with like three or four points, of credits more Extra than I needed than you had to have, because I always... Well, I took a ninth grade subject when I was in the 11th grade, and um, the first two or three tests I took, um, you know, I made 100 on them. Of course, I made 100, and so when I when we would take a test, I'd take it up there and, and um, hand it in to my teacher, and I can't remember his name, but he was a man, and he, he just said, he wouldn't even look at it. He said, when you get through with your papers, turn them into Lynn Pinkston, she'll grade them for you. <laughs> I don't know it. I don't know it. Oh, Lord. But I was, I was, you know, I was a, I was a junior, and they were, what, uh, in the ninth grade. Yeah. They had to have been in the, yeah. Were we still in junior high in the ninth, or was it the tenth yeah. grade? Yeah, Ninth was junior high. Seventh and eighth was junior high. Ninth was high school. Yeah, ninth, ninth was high school. school. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> had to think anyway. about it, because they're separate buildings, except for us. Yeah, it buildings. was at separate. Yeah. Yeah. TJ... Uh, Thomas J. Russ, Russ was the junior high, right. and then N NHS right. was the other building right. from the high school. Right. Yeah, it was. Right. Well, uh, that was some good old days. Yeah, we used to sit out there under that big under old tree, tree, and yeah. that's where we ate our lunch every yeah. day. It was a whole group of us. A whole bunch of us sat out. We, we, had some, we had some good friends, you know. Me and you and Charles yeah. and... Sharon and uh, uh, Nathan and Dolores and, and Carolyn. Carolyn. And Carolyn. It was a uh, bunch Carol, of us. Carol Jean. Yes, Carol, Carol Jean. Jean. Yeah. So um, was there was, chance. I don't know, six or eight of us yeah. that ate lunch every day together out mm -hmm. there. Under the tree. We usually had our, brought our lunch. Yeah, that's when yeah. we were, that's yeah. when we were that's bringing our lunch. That's when we was having lunch. a hard time. <laughs> After Daddy, Daddy died, died. We, were, After, we were bringing our lunch. That was before Daddy died. That's when Daddy was sick in the hospital. Well, and that part of the United yeah. too, yeah. yeah. So, anyway, um, I don't regret it. I never did, I never did, um, I never did think of us being poor at one time. No, never, I never did think it, of us now, being when poor. We was, now, when Daddy was in the hospital before he got his VA and we were staying with Miss um, Miller Miller at, in Houston, th then we were. Yeah, we, we was having we a hard time We went through some then. very, very rough we times. We was having a hard time financially then. But that's okay. We got through it. Yeah, we did. We, it was love. Linda, did we have another question? What do you like to do in your spare time? My spare time? <laughs> <laughs> well, I like to shop when I have spare time. I like to go to Michael's. I like to make fly arrangements. I like to work in the yard. I don't have a lot of spare time, but 
I like, that's what I like to do. I like to do crafts and, and, um, shop and work in the yard. These ladies don't believe in spare time. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, I'm trying to figure out where my spare time is. Uh, between moving stuff around and looking for stuff. <laughs> I uh, I there's not enough of time in the day for me to do what I like to do yeah. because I th because I like to do everything I like to, and you just don't have I just don't have time no, for it. you don't I love to do crafts I love to do uh, I like I'm not I used to like to sew and I actually still do but I just I had to cut that out because sitting in a sewing machine bothers my neck my shoulders yes. so I had to kind of cut that out. But I, I love to do, I love to do anything. I like to clean house. I, anything there is to be done. I'm just, I don't have time to sit and fiddle my thumbs. I guess yeah, too much Mama to never do. did. Mama never did either. Neither did Ma. But um, a relaxing time for me used to, in, in years gone by, I love to embroidery. And I'm not a seamstress. I can sew enough to put a skirt together if I have to. But, um, and I conquered that just because I was going to do it before I left this world. I was going to figure out how to make a garment that I could wear, actually wear. And I did, and I made several. But, and I like, I like little projects if I'm doing something with my hands. You're good at crocheting. You I love me some embroidery. I love Some it. handkerchiefs. She gave me some uh, tea, cup towels. Tea she towels. Not yeah. crochet, embroidery. Embroidery, okay, I got it wrong. Embroidery, because I, I don't do that. I never but mastered she, that either. She did me a set, and I still got them. I'm going to use them the, uh, the, every day of the week. Yeah. You embroidered that, and beautiful work. She does beautiful work. But um, um, I, a fun day for me, a relaxing day for me, there's two or three places that I like to go to in Longview, and now Home Goods is going to be added to it. Is TJ Maxx and Tuesday morning. That's my stores. Yeah, I love is. going in those stores. She'll tell me things she found, and I thought, well, I need to start going in there. <laughs> but so she finds things, and then I can go in there, and I can't find what she <laughs> what she finds. <laughs> so our timer's going off. Let's see what. Uh, it's hot in here. I'm sweating. I know it. I need to turn that AC. On. No, I'm no, because we're we're almost finished with that oven. So we have another question, Linda. Um, yeah, we have questions about the um, the dish. Oh, okay. Uh, um, well, I fix and get it out. We're gonna look at it. I'll let Mary answer them. Do you need a pot holder on this uh, thing here, Mary? Uh, I gotta put it back in the oven. Oh, okay. That's right. You gotta put cheese on it. I'll get your cheese out. Well, I, that don't look like that's cooked enough. Let me get a fork. I'll put it, uh, it's up under. I'll, I'll what color there. is it supposed to look like? It's bubbling. Is it bubbling? Okay. Yes, ma'am. Well, it ain't the color. Yeah, well, it's, it, the potatoes is already done. So, as long as it's bubbling, I, it's, it's just where I took it out the other day. Okay, as long as it's bubbling, it's fine. Because it's done. It's just a matter. Let me wash my hands again. Um, that's a big dish. It's a big dish. Yes, it is. So, now I'm going to put the rest of this cheese on top. I did say, tell y'all that this is uh, pepper jack and cheddar. Yeah, that looks so good. I'm not I'm dropping it. And we just put it back in the oven and just let this cheese melt. That's all it is. Now, was it another question about the dish? Um, yeah, but I'm going to have to wait till I can get back to my phone. Okay, all right. All right. Thank you, Linda. I think one of them is, can you parboil your potatoes? Yes, you could. Yes, you could. Any way you want to do the potatoes to get them um, t a little tender to, uh, to cut down on the time. Um, what kind of potatoes? I use uh, russet. Is that how you say it? Yeah, russet. Russet potatoes is what I use. And I used five, but they were and they were about this big. Um, and if you if you notice that I did not layer the potatoes completely solid, so if you want it more, it would take more. 
if you want, because I didn't layer them close. Um, so, um, so Give if me. you want the potatoes, if you want more potatoes, put more potatoes enough to, to where that it's a solid layer. Because okay. the one I made the other day, it was, I did make a solid layer. It was more potatoes than what I've actually got in this one. But uh, when I did the recipe, I didn't know for sure how much to put in this big long one because I just made half that. So, can you use that grater to make slaw? Um, you probably could, but we have a bigger one. We have a one that's bigger yeah. than that uh, that uh, I would recommend. Uh, yeah, that's the bigger one, yeah. But you know what? These are big. Those are big grates. I don't know. Yeah. That would be too big. I wouldn't use that. Uh, I would use that. Um, the rapid prep The mandolin. rapid prep. I'd use the rapid prep mandolin. The rapid prep yes. mandolin. Yes. Or even the food chopper. You have to chop it in small amounts. Right. But, um, but the rapid pr uh, prep mandolin, um, you could use that to do slaw. slaw too. Yeah. That would be your best, your right. best bet. Right. Because that one would make it either too small or too, you. If you want your coleslaw real small, you could use that. You know, it'd be real small a uh, cabbage. Uh, but see, it some people takes a while to do it. Yeah. Well, some people like their slaw real mushy. You know, real not yeah. not uh, lettuce. I forgot who it is. It makes their slaw, and it's really really thin. I mean, it's fine. just fine. So I mean, you want it fine, just fine. On my cabbage slaw. I usually, after I wash a cabbage, just slice it like this and then use the food chopper. And chop it and on chop that. It yeah. with the food that's, yeah. that's probably what I would yeah. do. That'd be the fastest yeah, way to do it. it. Would. Unless they had one of the big food graters. Right. And that's been discontinued. Yeah, it is. That big one is. And of course, so. if you've got a KitchenAid and you've got attachments, you could always you got a food processor would be the best food processor. <laughs> yeah, I that was really think about the food processor. The food processor. processor, I'm telling you, I made it was something. Else. I made coleslaw for the family reunion, reunion one year, and I used my food processor. And I want you to know, I did like two big old bowls of cabbage in just a few minutes because that food processor, I mean, it got it grind up fast. Yeah, it so. does. It does real quick. We should make coleslaw one day. Yeah, I've got a that. really good recipe. Good, yeah. Oh yes, yours is different from mine. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We may make yeah, coleslaw yours, one day. You make a good coleslaw. My mine is more creamy. Yours is not the creamy. It's it's really good. Yeah. It's different. It's, it's a little different. It's a little different. But it's good. Mama's coleslaw. She she didn't use mayonnaise. She used I know. vinegar. I know that's what. She and used. that's kind of what yours is, isn't it? Ain't it? And yours it, it, has the may, it has mayo in it. Oh, it but does. it also I has vinegar in it. Oh. No, it has all okay. the more mayo. In it. Okay, I didn't know it had that in it. Okay. Any others? Um. So there was a a a lot of talk in the comments about um pretzel pie. Do y'all know the secret to keep your pretzels crunchy? In your pretzel have you ever made one? I've never made a pie. I, pie. I figured you have. I have. I have. Um, I don't know. I uh, the the Jello is what I, the, the, if that's the kind they're talking about. I do a pretzel crust and okay. then put the Jello on top of it. Um, it almost tastes like a, a because it tastes Nuts. like a nut yeah. shell. Yeah. I'll have to make one of them one time. Uh, I'll be honest with you, the first time I made it, it was a flop. <laughs> Didn't you make one of these live? I thought I did. You made something with the pretzel crust. I think crust. I did. I can't remember. I have to go back and see. But uh, my pastor's pastor wife made them, makes them. And they're delicious. They are. They're so very I'm going to try to find out her secret uh, because um, she brings them to church and the crust is crunchy. So I'll have. I will check on that. I'll see if I can't make one before we get on video and see what makes them keep them from getting crunchy because Sister Boatman's is crunchy. Okay. So I'm gonna have to find out from her well, how I've she never does made that. One. And I love them. They taste like it. Don't taste like pretzels. Did we didn't set the timer for? No, that, I did didn't. We? It takes about ten minutes. Let me look at it. Uh, okay. Um. It's the cheese is melting, and that was going to be up to y'all if you want to get it a light brown or if you just want it melted. Some of these things you just have to do according to your right, your what you like. Yeah. So we'll give it about another minute. It the cheese is almost melted, and that's all I was going to show y'all anyway. Mm -hmm. um, 
So we want to remind everyone to um, to like each the videos that you're watching of us. Be sure to click the like button. Um, and and it's it's now correct me if I'm wrong, Linda, but you have to do that every time, right? Say that again. When at, at, with each video that we do, um, we would for like for them to click like on each video. Yes. Right. So yes, you, you if you click our page and like is one thing, but our videos, if you like our videos, um, click like on each one of those as you watch them or when you get through whatever. I heard somebody say that that would that would keep you uh, in notifications, help you in commenting yeah. and everything too. Yeah. Uh, okay, we got another question. So, this one I'm confused about. Somebody said, what's on your camera person's head? But I'm not sure how they see me. So, I'm trying to see. Oh. <laughs> you I don't know how they saw me, but anyways. <laughs> so, that's, I don't know if they can see it or not. That's the heart that Le Linda gave me a rose bush and, and for Valentine, and that was in it. And what she does is she puts a, she puts something on her head when y'all ask a question, so we'll know to ask her. And so we'll give you a chance to uh, to for us to answer your questions. That's all that was. She was just that's a that's notifying us that y'all want to qu have a question. I think that's probably done, Linda. We'll go ahead. Okay. And uh, and also be sure to go to our webpage. Yes. Um, our website, it is www.pinkymosskitchen.com. Um, that's where our merchandise is at. Um, that's where Mama's book will be at as soon as we get them in, the, in the, um, uh, as soon as we receive them. And also, that's where you can join membership. If you're wanting to know how to join membership, how to get our recipes, um, click on membership. There's a, a small $5.99 plus tax monthly fee. You can get a printable recipe along with some other special content. Um, and we'll be doing a little video for our members this afternoon, right, Linda? That you'll put on yes. uh, sometimes soon after we get That's to right. That's at home goods. today. Yes. At home goods. We're going to do a little video. Okay. All right, Linda. I took this out. I know that it's done because my potatoes was almost done when I put it in there. But now, if you um, if you want to cook it longer, you can cook it longer. But I'm going to... This what I said. It's a cheesy potato. Mm -hmm. and then I'm going to let you taste it. Add some pepper. Do what? I said, add some pepper. Oh, add some pepper. <laughs> Where's my pepper at? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And and the season that be up to little Linda, I guess, is like uh, Linda. That is a potato. I know the potatoes has to be done because I've cooked it before. But um, actually, the longer you uh, leave it in there, uh, it would brown. What do you think? It's, it's cheesy. Delicious. It's, it's delicious. cheesy. It's got good texture to it. Thank you, Jesus. Good. It's very good. My first bite, I thought it needed salt, but that's because it was just a potato. When I took another bite, you could taste the salt and the cheese. Well, the I tell you, I did not salt those potatoes because the first the one I made the other day, I salted the potatoes. And then time I put all this other stuff, it was almost too salty for yeah, me. The cheese has a lot of salt yes, in it. Yes, so. yes. So I don't salt those potatoes because um, all the cheese and the and the garlic powder and the garlic and the three onions dip, I mean onion rub in there, it doesn't need It's very salt. good, Mary. It's delicious. Thank you. Um, anyway, I hope that uh, y'all try this recipe. And like I said, you see how much this makes. You might want to half it. And... Um, Put it, if you want more potatoes in it, you can put more potatoes in it. But it takes a lot of cheese. Yeah. Yeah. This would be a great right. dish. And right. they can do this ahead of time, right? Yeah, they can do that ahead of time. Absolutely. You see how it is. You put it together and refrigerate it. For, if you do it in the morning, refrigerate it. Put it in, in the oven at night for your evening meal. We love y'all. We appreciate y'all following us. And um, don't forget to go up to our website. And if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube, yes. please subscribe to our YouTube. Our YouTube channel is Pink Moss Kitchen. Uh, yeah, it's Pink Moss Kitchen. Just Pink Moss yeah. Kitchen. All right. Don't forget to count your blessings.
Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Love y'all. Bye-bye.